Hey, what's up everybody? Bar 49ers Corner. I uh, got an unexpected mail day for you today. Got a care package from Bears 9 McMahon. That's uh, Jack Porter off of uh, Facebook uh, group we got going on, uh, PSA Sports Card Collectors. Real good group. Uh, good quality people. Not trying to peddle stuff to you or anything like a lot of the other uh, card pages are. Everybody's just asking questions, talking about different cards, stuff that they collect. And everybody's real supportive, so it's a pretty cool group. And uh, it's not too big either, so uh, it doesn't get inundated with uh, so many posts um, to read or, you know, just sift through or anything like that. So uh, if you're into, you know, cards and uh, probably follow a couple of the guys on there already, like Troy from Packers Corner and uh, Carter Fan 98 and stuff, uh, you should check it out. Um, first, though, I had to... I got my uh, second, or actually first subscription in SMR today, and uh, I just thought it was kind of funny, because, you know, I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm getting, you know, relatively proud of the collection and everything like that, and then they just, they do shit like this, and look at this, a 1915 Babe Ruth and a 9, they show a picture of this guy, and kind of tore it, but this guy, he's got... Ernie Banks rookie card in a PSA 10. Mickey Mantle in a rookie in a 10. He's got an Onus Wagner in a PSA 8. And no shit, the damn serial number is 00000001. And I swear, the good Lord keeps you humble. Every time you think you're doing good or something like that, some guy comes out and it just demolishes you. And, I mean, they're so good. All of his cards and the labels, they have a third line because it's the D-backs collection. And so all of his PSA cards are labeled D-backs collection. So I just thought that was funny. And, you know, I guess that's what happens when billionaires collect cards, too. But, anyway, get into this package. Again, Jack Porter, uh, appreciate it. Don't know what's in here, uh, but pretty excited about it. Uh, so let's see what we got. Very well packaged. Alright, open last. So we'll do that. Got them in there. There's like uh, four of these little like packets or whatever. So that's cool. And uh, use the good uh, painter's tape. Always appreciate that. I got it. Uh, as well for if I ever send stuff out because there's nothing more annoying than getting that scotch tape all over you know a perfectly good top loader and then I, as soon as I get it I just throw it out so let's see what we got nice Deion Sanders rookie that is a Ed, collector's edge 95 rice John Taylor, rookie. Rice from 89 score. Fleer 91. The glare's getting me here. I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, 84 instant replay, Joe Montana. 91 Pacific Joe. 94 playoff club. 93 playoff club. Very cool. Those are in great condition, too. Always good. Alright, what do we got here? There's a Steve Young, I'm not real familiar with there, which is kind of rare. Oh, very nice. It's a it's a calling card. I have a, one of these, a Jerry Rice, and a, another one, a, a Joe Montana, different one, so, but that's pretty cool. I like that abstract stuff. Um, 95 classic images. Man, this glare is brutal right now. Playoff contenders, Steve Young. 95 edge, Steve Young. Very nice. 95 metal, Steve Young. Should be a 95 pro line. Yeah, 95 pro line. Game breakers. Love those subsets back in the mid 90s, too. That's select certified, probably 96, yep. And then, uh, 
Pinnacle 96. Steve Young on one side and Kerry Collins on the other side. That was Kerry Collins, I think. Big, he's a big timer back then. He was a 95 rookie. It was a big deal for a year. Oh, very cool. Another calling card. William Floyd. Another one, William Floyd. Big time fullback for us there in the mid 90s. 83 times Jeff Moore. Very cool. 96 Pro Line Merton Hanks subset. Printer's proof. Ooh. Of 400 there. Ken Norton. Should be 96. 97. Yeah, 96 Don Russ. And that's the old one. That's the subset one where the little helmet's cut out. I haven't seen some of these for a while. 95 Metal JJ Stokes. Very cool. Alright, and then uh, Open Last. Now, I put Open Last, but he put the note in here. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Bears 9 McMahon, go Bears. Part of the... Add that to the, the small but growing YouTube PC there. Appreciate that. Alright. And it says the one on the back, so... I'll try to cover it here. Is it auto? Sure it is. 95 Pro Line. Derek Deese auto. Very cool. I don't have a lot of autos. Uh, Who's that? Keith Henderson. That should be 92 Pro Line. Yeah. Keith Henderson auto. Oh. Looks like here's Barton. No, keep, keep the long. 92 Pro Line. Autograph on the back. And it's certified authentic. It's got the stamp in the corner. That's pretty cool. It should be JJ Stokes. Yeah, okay. Just got it from the UCLA. Auto. On a calling card. Those are very cool. I like the calling cards. That's neat. That's a Ken. Sweet. Ken Norton. Oop. Very cool. Some sweet autos there. Love that stuff. Love the mid 90s subsets. That's when I was, uh, you know, collecting, really starting getting near and dear to me. So. Bears Nine McMahon, I'll put his link down below. Uh, give him a sub, good people. Um, obviously, he collects the bears, and uh, he has some some good videos out there. He's uh, been doing a lot of uh, BGS submissions and stuff like that. So always good to watch those videos and, and see what kind of grades folks are getting back and uh, their lessons learned, uh, so that we don't do the same and spend you know fifteen twenty bucks on a card that maybe we shouldn't send graded. So. Uh, much appreciated, man. And uh, I got a pile going for you. I got a couple more boxes to go through. Uh, but I definitely got some bear stuff that uh, don't need in the PC uh, that will definitely help out. I always did pretty well pulling like Urlock or you know, subsets and stuff like that. So should be pretty good. So thanks again. Bears and I, McMahon. Go Bears. Talk to you guys later.